What is going on everyone? Technically Leonard here. This video is going to be another short one, uh, just me talking, but this time a little more on a kind of a serious topical issue. Um, you may have heard about this in the news if you follow tech news at all, but we all these days have a ton of accounts and with accounts online come passwords. Um, I highly recommend using very unique, very non-standardized passwords, passphrases I like to say. Please do not use words, do not, I, I, I can't get into the technical reason here, it would take far too long, but basically it's very easy for hackers to get dictionary lookup tools, which essentially just kind of takes your password and kind of, you know, runs through the dictionary, not a complicated process with modern computing, and can, within minutes, oftentimes, kind of crack a lot of passwords because a lot of people use names and common words as their passwords. Please, I, I'm begging you folks don't do that. But anyway, back to the topic. So, as we know, all of us have a ton of passwords to manage our digital and financial lives. And one growing trend is for people with, who are smart with their passwords and use unique passwords that are not standard is that a lot of people use password managers. Um, there are a number out there, a number of them out there. Um, a few kind of stand out as some of the more popular, more mainstream, more well-known. And one of those kind of in the, the top category, is LastPass. Now, LastPass, in recent years, they have really bombarded the radio and podcast market with advertising and specials. And I'm, I'm not downing LastPass. I've, I, I don't believe they're a bad company. I don't think they're, I don't think there's anything malicious with LastPass. Don't get me wrong. But my problem is, is just with password managers in general. And I'll tell you, um, I, again, I won't get into the technical side of things here. I, I am a techie, by the way. I, I love this stuff. I love the technical stuff, you know, factors behind this stuff. And I delve into it and read it quite a bit. I read that stuff like most people read novels. But, yeah, I know it, it makes for boring novels. But when you're a nerd like me, hey, it's interesting. And pretty much though to to put it simply you need uh, pretty much all security experts agree the best the absolute best security strategy beyond using unique complicated passphrases that are made up of random letters and numbers mixed together long sequences of them and but the the strategy to kind of strengthen that more so is to not have a single what security experts call attack vector uh meaning you know don't as the old expression goes don't keep all your eggs in one basket because if the basket falls all your eggs are broken uh and, and that's that's you know that's kind of yeah, it's, it's an old phrase, but you get the point. If something happens, nothing is perfect, by the way. No network, no computer, no safe, no building. Nothing is, is absolutely, you know, bomb-proof. If man can make it, man can break it. And so if you keep all of your passwords in one spot, in one file, in one location, on one server, on one site. It kind of gives an easy target because if you know password managers, no matter how strong, no matter how secure the password manager, 
you simply have to enter your master password to basically unlock your vault, unlock your password vault. This is, in my opinion, keeping all of your security eggs in one basket. And it's a very dangerous strategy. Uh, I will go as far as to say, you know, using password managers, again, not picking on any specific one. Uh, there are some very good ones out there. I will say, you know, not promoting or downgrading LastPass. They're very good for what they do. They're very good. I believe they're very thorough. The report, I'm going to link to a, an article about this, by the way, which clearly states LastPass has already patched this vulnerability. But, folks, this is this is not the end of the thing. Um, you know, as long as people continue to keep all of their passwords in one file, in one vault, in one location, that's going to become a growing target for identity thieves and for people who mean you no good, uh, who, who mean to basically take your identity to to ruin your finances. They don't care. The you know, the criminals they're just out for for the money and for the the power and for the thrill of it. They they don't care. Don't don't think these people care. They don't they don't care. But again, I'm not slamming any company. Uh LastPass is a is a great company for what they do. I'm just simply saying I do not recommend at all. I do not recommend anyone use password managers. Now, you may be saying at this point, and again, I'm, I'm going to try to shorten this up and because I'm going on a little longer than I intended to here, but you may be saying, what is the recommended strategy? Well, what strategy do I recommend? Again, this is based on listening to and reading many, 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 many security experts' opinions over the years my personal strategy, and I'm not going to show my personal file here, I'm not going to give any specific passwords of mine or anything. My specific strategy is that I do use very long, complicated strings of letters and numbers and symbols as much as allowed by the given website or service. Um... I randomize them as much as possible. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll freely tell you, most of my passwords are more than 20 characters long, as long as the site permits it. There are a few sites out there, websites that do not allow passwords of that length. And, you know, I have to deal with that when I come to it. But at this point, I would say all of my passwords that I actively use are more than 20 characters, random characters. Again, past phrases, not passwords. Do not use words. But yeah, all my past phrases are over 20 characters long, and they're very random strings. All of them contain random letters and numbers. The majority of them contain also contain you know, random punctuation and symbols and as much as allowed just to kind of mix it up as much as possible. And again, that's exactly what I recommend. Be random. And the way I keep up with all these, though, I obviously I cannot remember <laughs> numerous passwords, 20 plus characters long that are kind of just jibber jabber. The way I keep up with this is I actually have a flash drive. I keep it very near and dear to me, um, and I store that file, my password file, in a password-protected zip file. And again, for my master password for my, or master passphrase for my zip file, I use a very long randomized password, however it is something that I have by this point memorized, but it is very unlikely that anyone, even if you did find my flash drive. And trust me, I guard that thing like I guard my left thumb. Even if you did get my flash drive, I would 
wager you would not, no one would guess or be able to crack within a reasonable amount of time, my passphrase, my master passphrase. That is the strategy I recommend. It is offline, complete, you know, my pass, password, if you will, vault is completely offline. It's completely self-contained. Um, it's, it's very randomized. It does, it is not dependent on any specific service. Um, I'll go ahead and say that once the, the zip file is unlocked, it is just a text document. You know, it, it's very, very simple, but in my eyes, very strong, a very strong method of protecting my passphrases so that I can easily get to them when I need them um, from my computer. I, by the way, I'm, I'm very limited on the, on using pass, passwords and things on my phone. Um, just because there again, the more places you kind of, you know, tap in that password, the more attack vectors you open yourself up to, you know, keep it simple, keep it safe. That's a good strategy. I hope this video means something to you all, and I hope you all take this near and dear to your heart. Again, I'm not dissing any password manager. I wish the companies nothing but the best. I hope they continue to improve and strengthen their product. And hey, maybe Maybe someday there will be a, a solution that will make these things bulletproof. I hope. Honestly, I kind of hope passwords go away. I kind of hope we standardize more secure biometric related, you know, fingerprint and so on methods of security and, and that passwords go away. But short of that, I hope that these companies continue to improve and build upon their technologies, build them up, make them very secure, and I wish them nothing but the best of success. But as for now, my recommendation is being a, I would consider myself very informed techie of more than 20 years, my recommendation is please do not use standardized online password manager services you know come up with your own strategy um keep it very safe keep it very personal keep it very simple and you know stick with it be be diligent about it and stick with it and until next time i'm done rambling this is technically leonard out